All right, let's try it one more time. Okay, you two. All right, and then this one is that side. All right, progress. All right, let's see, that's a flat side, so that's gonna go on there. All right, and you go on here, that way. Even the nuts show an indication of what way they're supposed to go on. Because there's a flat shiny side which is actually up against the connecting rod cap. And then there's a dull side which actually has had oil on it. So that shows that it's supposed to go the other way. Alright, now, let's see, we got it semi-started. Okay, the connecting rod bearing, cap, and nuts are on there. They just need to be torqued down. I'm just going to hand tighten them for now, so that way I can put the oil pan back up in this. Let's see, this way, right? Yep. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, I've done this before. So it's not, it's nothing new to me. Uh, I'm going to start the other one and get going too. Because otherwise it'll go on uneven and then it will cause to have another problem. And I don't want that. So. bring this in here so you guys can see exactly what it is I'm doing but I don't know if it's gonna do you any good because there's barely enough room for me in here <laughs> maybe if I lower it you know what Just bring you in here. Take the cord off. Put this down. And then show you. Right there. I could probably do this with one hand, but the problem is, is they're not really threaded enough yet to torque them down, so... Okay, maybe they are. I just wanted to get them started. I have to go through specs in order to see what the heck they're going to be torqued at. I actually have a torque wrench. So for now, though, I'm just putting these on. Just to, uh, as you say, be done with it. <laughs> you know, because uh, it's an awkward position to be in. And when you're my weight... If you have as many problems as I do, it doesn't make it easy. But that's the new piston, and it's on the old connecting rod. And it's got new bearings. And uh, I've already cleaned the oil pump. Uh, I just want the car to run. I'm not looking for a trailer queen. Uh, this car ran when I first got it. After the kid told me it doesn't run, uh, I found out it does. 
but like I said, uh, with the piston that popped its top, it's like blowing its head off, uh, that created more problems than I thought it would. So now that this part will be done, then I can work on the other head and I can put the oil pan gasket back up on here and you know, I gotta get the old one out. So I actually have to be up underneath here again, but I think this is all I'm going to do for today. Uh, maybe I'll put four of the nuts for the oil pan on just to keep it from, you know, uh, getting any dirt or anything in here. All right. Yeah, they, they don't have to be torqued much more than that. You can see by the other uh, connecting rod that they're not torqued too far down. All right, that's about it for that. And <sighs> mm. oh, it's almost like they're so freaking loose. Look at that. Okay, that's good. get this one over here I get my hand to work no just go on there okay now those are just hand tightened they're not they're not torqued so now that we're done with that let me go take this out or get this out of here and what I'll do is I'll finish cleaning out the oil pan and we'll put that back up on there. I just got to try and weasel my way out of here. But the best thing is done. Now, put them over here oh, so I can get up out of here. Oh. Okay, there's the oil pan. Now, oh. <clears throat> she should turn with no problem. Oh, yeah. I gotta unplug that light because it smells like it's burning. Uh. Well, I'm gonna have to cut this. I have to upload this and then uh, I'll be back. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications. All right, bye.